What is going on you guys? I am actually on my way to FedEx. Uh, I've gotten a lot of packages lately that have not been able to get delivered to my home address. You know, I'm working throughout the day and uh, what, most of these packages, they require signature uh, upon delivery. You know, this is a way for the seller, of course, to make sure that the right Turn person's... Waste, be quiet. Street. This is, of course, the seller's way to make sure that you know, all the packages uh, get delivered the right way. And I've got these two packages right here. So I've got some goodies lately and I'm very excited on opening these boxes up for you guys in the next video, okay? So if you guys haven't already, make sure that you smash that subscribe button, okay? Make sure you smash that subscribe button. You would not want to miss what I'm about to uh, reveal here for you guys. These parts are very crucial very crucial to the whole truck build okay and I'm very excited that I finally got these in you guys know the excitement when you order car parts or truck parts and you know it takes forever for them to get to your home or get delivered or whatever I was going to be doing some filming today uh, but as you can see here the day is uh, clearly not helping uh, it is drizzling it's raining uh, the weather is all over the place I mean, it's typical in Florida so you know Rarely do I get a day out of the week where it's decent enough for me to get some footage for you guys. Whoa, what do we got over here? So that's the excursion it looks like. And then we got a brother right here. Brother from another month. Got a nice, uh, looks like a little gas in here. Single cap, small bed right there. this package was originally I had requested for them to hold it at one location and they couldn't deliver it Saturday even though I was home all day and I went to that location today around lunchtime and uh, they tell me no we don't have your package your package is over at the warehouse and so now I'm over at the warehouse I'm really hoping to have this package here because guys I'm going nuts I need my truck parts and I need them ASAP okay so uh, FedEx UPS you guys get your act together people need to get their car parts okay it's, just, it's some serious business if this has happened to you in the past if you have been waiting for car parts to arrive and for some reason you know has taken you know whatever delivery company some extra days or whatever amount of time or a confusion of some sort where your package gets sent somewhere else totally different uh, smash that like button let me know what your experience was all about in the comments Right, you guys drop your guess okay drop your guess on the comment section below let me know okay let me know what you think it's inside this box let me know what you think is inside this box and let me know what you think is inside that box okay I purposely put the box back there this way because if I had placed it the other way around the logo would have showed and I would have given it away and I don't want to give it away. I want it to actually be a uh, surprise for the next uh, upcoming videos here. So definitely make sure you let me know in the comment section what your guess in regards to what these parts are. All right, a little bit of a heavy box, okay? 21 pounds to be exact. And this one comes all the way from E-C-C-P-P, -P, okay? E-C-C-P-P, -P, that's the brand. All right, so one big box that turns into two smaller boxes, okay? What could that possibly be? All right, you guys ready? Here we go. I hope you guys, I didn't open it up backwards. That would be a shame, right? All right, that's right, baby. The Duramax is getting some Nice tow mirrors. Long overdue. The door max is gonna be getting some nice tow mirrors to go with it. They come, you know, inside the sleeve. 
This is a very nice leaf, but it comes in. Let me put this aside for a second. Take a look, you guys. Take a really good look. Nice smoked out blinkers here, LEDs. This is the uh, the newer, more modern version that everybody wants to have on their Duramax build with the two-piece mirror, of course. This one is powered with the LED blinkers on this side as well. Defrosters integrated as well and the backup LEDs as well. So the white backup LEDs. Okay, let me go ahead and show you guys. You're looking at yourself in the mirror. Look at that. So nice uh, backup LEDs right there and the uh, turning signal and everything. And check out the front. That looks very, very nice. I cannot wait. Cannot wait to have these on the truck. It's a little heavy, I'm not gonna lie. It's quite a, and that's good. That's a sign that it's, you know, meant for heavy duty work. Also in the box, also in the box, we have some nice rubber uh, mounting shields here okay with all the provided uh, nuts and we of course have uh, the wiring with uh, all the little included clips and everything so this is gonna be very nice and I cannot wait to put these on Get a good look right here. This is uh, the before. Obviously, you've seen them before. The stock mirrors here, of course, they don't look nearly as sexy or nearly as useful as the tow mirrors. So, definitely the reason why we're upgrading them. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this whole panel right here, and then be able to access the uh, triangular piece for the mirror. And uh, if you guys want a step-by-step -step, uh, DIY on how to do this, uh, make sure that you let me know in the comments below. I can possibly record all the steps and put together a DIY. Now, um, for this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put it all together so you can see the final piece and you can see what an impact it has on the truck look overall. For this video, I'm only gonna be installing the power mirrors. Now, I know there is a way to have the um, blinkers also run as um, parking lights or city lights. Uh, I'm ordering a kit from Boost Auto Parts in order to be able to have that. I'm gonna be doing that later on. But for now, I really just wanna hug these up, see how they work, see how they look. And uh, I mean, later on, I'll be doing some upgrades to them. But I mean, these are way too nice not to put them on today. And then second, I'm just gonna go ahead and line up all the uh, other screws with the holes. Bam, perfect. And it felt right in place, guys. All right, so I'm using one hand here to push the mirror inward, and then I'm using the other hand to tighten up the bolt, tighten up with my fingers here as much as I can. All right, so this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and test it out really quick. Plug these in and see what happens. So that was uh, pretty much plug and play. Didn't have to do much there. Uh, let me go ahead and put the ignition on and test to see if the power mirrors work. And uh, let's see how it's looking, guys. You excited? Because I'm thrilled. So I'm just testing out the uh, power function here. All right, looks like we have power going to it to be able to adjust it. Perfect. All right, there we go, that's good news. We're making progress so far. Check out the big difference, look at that. Just wanna show you a little bit of uh, before, here, and after, and I gotta say, man, what the heck? Get this stupid paper out of the way. All right, look at that. As I was saying, guys, check out the difference, the uh, before and the after. You can certainly tell that it gives the truck an awesome view. Look at that. 
Now the next thing we're gonna do guys is we're gonna go ahead and level these mirrors up because they're usually like pointing upward. So I'm gonna lose these two uh, bolts, okay? And then lose the bottom ones just a little bit. But these I'm actually gonna put two uh, um, six millimeter washers, I believe. I got that tip from Truckmaster. And uh, go ahead and put that on there and uh, see what difference it makes. There it is, that's what I'm talking about. Be able to put the three washers there to create some space and level these mirrors out. What's up? Pool party over or what? It's over. It's over? Nice shirt. All right guys, so let me show you let me show you the difference here. All right, so this side right here is not leveled up at all. So you can see the mirror is shooting upwards. This side, however, has been leveled, so it looks much better. I was interrupted by some rain here because of course it's Florida, so it had to rain today. I mean, no surprise there. And so I ended up putting these uh, plastic bags to cover up since... All right, train, I get it, bro. You're crossing. All right, and since I ended up uh, sanding these down, you can tell the humidity in the lens. It is no joke. All right, so these are finally all sanded down and grinded down, as you can see there. And they are ready to be put on. So I'm about to test them out and see how they do. All right, so it looks like my invention uh, worked out pretty good here because there's not a drop of rain in there and it's as dry as can be. I didn't want to risk these getting all rusty and whatnot because of humidity, so cover them up. Now it's time to put the uh, plastic cover here. We should be good to go. So I've been having a little bit of a uh, power steering issue over the last uh, week or so. It looks like there's probably a hose somewhere that is leaking. I, I did get under there uh, and uh, I took a look, so I'll have to replace a hose and uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. I'm being a little lazy, but I definitely need to be able to take care of this ASAP because this topping off of uh, power steering is uh, getting really annoying, you know? So I definitely need to uh, work on that ASAP. So I want to show you the finished product here because it is a beautiful day here in Florida. Hey, guess what? There's no rain today. Isn't that crazy? Man, what a, what a shocker. So, so you can see here the uh, tow mirrors are perfectly leveled and they look super sick i like the uh, fact that it gives the truck a whole different look as you can see there it looks like a whole different truck so you know i'm, I'm kind of questioning the fact that i went all black with the uh, mirrors here i definitely did not want uh chrome because i'm doing a whole chrome diet these guys are actually going uh here in the next few days but uh from the oem factory uh, you know, uh, tow mirrors like these that look all blacked out are usually a sign of under trim, perhaps not the highest trim or whatever. So I may end up doing some color matching here at the top and bottom as well. So they look a little bit more along with the, with the truck itself. But uh, I mean, you can tell the visibility inside the truck. It's amazing. The fact that there's so much better view compared to the factory ones. I'll show you this side as well. And I mean, the truck is just sitting super nice. And again, I'm giving you this, you guys, as a reference point so you guys can see what the truck looks like right now especially after we get it lifted after we put on some new tires on there and uh, i mean i'm just liking how everything is coming out so far as you can see we got rid of this ugly piece of chrome that was here in the front and so the next thing would be to uh, upgrade those uh headlights there that will definitely be um you know in the to-do list here coming up pretty soon uh so even these leds down here these are pretty sick but i'll be replacing these with uh, some new uh, led running lights as well and perhaps mess around with the fog lights but again i'm just loving the mirrors you guys it gives the truck such an awesome look check it out
what getting parts for your car feels like getting parts for my truck it feels like th this takes me back to when i was a kid all right playing with my lego pieces you have all the different combinations of lego pieces that takes your imagination wild over the place and you can build so many different things well for adults getting truck parts and car parts are the exact same thing you know being able to upgrade your ride you know do stuff uh, yourself and, and build your car your truck whatever it is it definitely feels the exact same way you know we really don't grow we, we stay kids inside and we just you know upgrade our toys that's really what it comes down to so guys if you haven't already make sure you smash that like button for this video and make sure you subscribe okay if you aren't already join the boost and redline family uh, you would not want to miss the uh, upgrades that are coming up to the Duramax build. Everything is coming along really nice. There's way better upgrades coming down the road for you guys and I really don't want you guys to miss it. So again, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a wonderful day.